Hello, welcome back to Shadowrun. We're gonna talk to, I think this is the, is she the owner? She in parks. Asian woman, expression rates open for business. Is her demeanor mean dealer rather than companion? She's a jack on her neck, gun in her head, and a chip in her shoulder. She has you with a sneer. Just keep you know your way around. Need something? Weapons? Matrix tech? Show me what you got. Oh yeah, guns. So we got, let's look at weapons here. Which one is a... Okay, I already own that. So this is all the starting weapons. I apparently have one new item in my steam inventory. Consumables. I do enjoy grenades. Simple drone repair kit. I think I'm gonna need more. Jeez, these are expensive though. I only have this much. Add that in. This grenade is less expensive. <laughs> How is a med kit more expensive than a fry grenade? Jeez. I can just a pistol. I guess I could use the pistol as like an emergency shot in case I have to reload or something. It's only a hundred, I'll just grab it. Maybe spend a couple karma to get pistol points. Key stash and sell items. Equipment. Anything I don't want? No, all this stuff is pretty important. Confirm. Confirm. So, I do have this karma, so I would like to just... Can I just equip this gun? And, like, use it? Okay. Menu's a little bit... weird. I guess I just equip and I can use them now. Huh. I don't have any points in, in pistols. I wonder what'll happen. I think I'm allowed to walk in here. Yeah, I'm just allowed to go through. I'm a VIP, apparently. Johnny Clean! Speak with me. This man is dressed like a janitor, but is wearing yet usually clean overalls. He's tall, rail thin. He's tall, rail thin, and has a cunning look on his eyes more than just a maintenance man. Howdy, name's Johnny Clean. You knew? Yeah, first time. Just getting a look at the place. Well, enjoy yourself. Can you type of place I'm just sweeping up? Okay. I should have, like, hounded him more. I didn't think that it would just end the conversation that way. <laughs> like, this guy's just like, oh. Lady. You have a low potion. Glowing magical talisman. Vegetables control the planet. Seems fully, fully of this world. He mumbles himself. Can... I told you, it's not like that at all. Bring me proof, and you still have it. I'm honored, Your Majesty. That was why I said to use mustard instead of catsup. <laughs> Give me Jean. I was a fool. Looks you in the eye. This other conversation is on hold. You peruse my magical wares and see their glory. Okay. Okay, so he's all... This, this magic stuff. Which I can't... Yeah. Okay. Kabuta. Oh, she is fine. Kabuta is... She across the room, says so the opposite you approach, see closer, you see that... She's of mixed race, African and Japanese. Meter says, this is my house, mess with your, mess with it and your per peril, at your peril. Nice twinkle, of light when she speaks. Konbanwa, Eve, good evening. My, but you aren't a pretty elf. You're joining the seamstress union, you should be plenty of women, <laughs> should be plenty of women like you to enjoy. I need you closely, or is this business? Tempted to ask what's upstairs. Not tempted enough, ha! Huh. Tell me, Omi, what are you looking for? I'm looking for information. Of course you are. Knowledge is power, eh? So I've been told. Soka, how can I help you? And ha Soka, and why should I help you? Sam Watson looking for his killer. Face brightens amused. Oh, so you are the little insurance policy you would go on about when he was drunk. This avenging angel who would strike back from beyond his grave. What do you want to know? How well did you know Sam? I knew him. We all did. Sam was a regular here. Where he could beg or borrow enough from here to come up, become altered in some way. Drugs, chips, alcohol, didn't matter to Sam. As long as he was bent, he was always looking for his next fix. Clung to this, he clung to this place <laughs> like it was a lifeline and we treated him like part of the family. Even though I was truly liked him. Except Coyote. Did, Sam, did you see him on the night of his death? He was here, quite inebriated. As he often was. Coyote was working the bar that night. She informed 
see that Sam was getting rowdy and belligerent with other customers. When I requested to he leave, he refused. I found Sam was to Chloe. 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 Stealing off another issue, so I reported that Jake escorts Sam out of the back door alley. I said, last saw either of them. This is a place called the Dangerous Union. During the gold rush years, there was a census, and the politicians wanted the high number of people, highest number of people possible to gain power and revenue. Most of the numbers they decided to include all working girls, of which there were too many for the roles. I was sure many of the roles were given the times there. I could not list the girl's occupation, so I took them all as seamstress. The girl accumulated enough money to open her own place of business that was named in the seamstress union, so potential workers would know that they would be treated fairly here. And thus a rich tradition was born. So you're a former seamstress? Now perhaps when we know each other more, I will review more about myself. For now, enjoy the union! More questions. Can we wear a fine coyote? Face darkness. But that I wish I could. I have not seen her in days. She's a smart woman. Quite dangerous. And I fear, but I fear for her. I'm sure she can take care of herself. Perhaps. All the same, I wish I could see her. She's like a daughter to me. Her room is upstairs. If you're looking for her, I thought you would do examine it. Wow, you just let me walk in there? Uh, let's think, be able to uncover her whereabouts. I would not normally betray her privacy this way, but she's missed two shifts now, and it can't be reached on her comm. It's unlike her. If, she has, if something has happened, I'll not have inaction on my, my conscience. Here's the key. Oh, cool. Showed that rope with that key that I got. Alright, so that's the way back down. I can't go in there. Whose room is this? Hello? There's nothing in here. Is this even the room? This doesn't look like the room. Well, nothing's in here anyway. Am I healed? I actually am healed. Sakura, how did you get healed? I guess walking in here heals or something? Oh, we got a TV. And it's later with action movies and cigarette butts. The coyote keeps her clothes and boxes on the floor. Main painting of Chicago skyline. There's the cigarettes. But he's got a diary with several pages sticking out of it. Open the diary to the first paper. There's a receipt stuck between the pages. And the diary entry. Read the diary entry. Came back from my shift to find four of those goons sleeping in their apartment floor. Getting frogging ridiculous. I want to be with him. With the real Paco. Cutter Drek just keeps messing everything up. I love him, but he's totally different with that gang. It's how I make cash, baby, he always says, but... I try to tell him he does need cash and I can support his bolts with the money I make from the seamstress. Union. Uh, the seamstress is union, but they're getting go... But, uh, he still goes on, but he's run. The bozos all over my floor. It feels like he's just seeing how far he can push me before I kick him out. I try to be patient, but what does it have? You know, one, one way. This is the last cutter without the door. I lost it. I told him if he ever pulled a trick like that again, he would be sleeping in the alley. First he begged and pleaded with me, telling me it wouldn't happen again. I don't want to deal with this anymore. I don't want him to leave. It's the reason I got through all this stuff last year. My bartering li bartending license. Got this apartment. And this life. Oh, he cares about me and loves me more than his involvement. More than his involvement with the Cutters. I just wish I could slice that gang in our, from our life together. Because of the fear that comes along with it. So, inspect the receipt. See some drawing max paper. Gin. No, it says how big guns on hot women turn her on. Okay. To a different page. Handwritten poem on it and diary entry. Seems like Paco reads my mind, my diary. He does a letter when suspected. I wouldn't be surprised. Hi, Paco! <laughs> Ever since last week, he's been mentioned the cutters once. He's leaving the apartment. See you in a few hours, babe, and returns later without a comment. No, so he's really going to help us or avoid the subject or come uh, in conversation completely, but I feel felt better without constantly arguing about it. Poem. Say that Paco shouldn't stick his guns in motorcycles and leave poetry to others. 
Okay. Oh, that was just something that he writ wrote. Writ. Receipt. Oh, photographs are within pages. Here she's a young girl with a caramel skin, brown, dark brown hair. She's a snake wrapped around her arm, yet she's smiling. The back of the photograph has shadow scrawled on it. Look at the picture. Oh, wait. Look at the receipt. ACOD receipt for special order. Five pounds of zebra meat from Murphy's Meat Emporium. Located near Pike Place Market. Is zebra meat common in this world? That seems kind of weird. Now, a seat for a wall seat. This all can be a Set the combination. Two, three. Near bathroom. Do I have to, like. Three, four, two. 436 342 436 342 436 342 436 342 436 Oh. It just gives me the option. Safe be cheerfully responsive Let's look at this first. This computer is ancient. Getting into Probably fished out. Junkyard. You even have a data jack in there. Display is covered with fingerprints, tapping on the keyboard causes dust cakes of hands to spin up. You display password screen. Oh, the password, the only thing is password disk recovery. You can say three security questions to the password. Your first childhood pet. It's a story. Favorite musical act. Hmm. Frag grenade. Um, send it to my dash. Open it. So wait, where do I find the favorite musical act? Yeah, shadows are snake. That's the thing for the thing. Or it has to be on one way. It's a pistol. I mentioned the cutters once. Read the poem. That has nothing to do with that. Picture. Okay. Look at the receipt. Ki zebra meat. Okay. That doesn't give me any information. Chicago. Like password recovery. Shadow, of course. Elementals, shield wall, starfire, the shadows. I can't just be named out of the same thing, can I? Give me your hometown, Chicago. That's the story. Security answer but incorrect. Let's go. Shit. I just. We're just doing it this way. Chicago. That's what recovery. Shadow makes sense. We're just doing it this way. There's a picture of Chicago on there, so I'm just gonna assume that. Is that like a. No, it wouldn't be like a throw off the element. Chicago. I hope it's not like a too many wrong guesses thing. This is every band. The server has been reset to NQPD. For security, never write down your password. Peter is basically deaf. She won't be able to get back to her computer after this. Applicant. Calendar. Meeting with dialogue about gig. Paco for date. Uh, Pike Place Market due in 30 minutes. Today? Oh, it was put a while, a long time ago. 
So, if I go there, then I can find Paco. Maybe get some information on him. Trace contact list. Exactly one entry. I'm named Paco. No time with the number. It's a very useful list of contacts. Access history. Standard for recent searches shows the clarity of the work. I'm reading a great deal about hellhounds. Huh. Unless there's more casual interest in vintage action figures. Computers, basically. What? Okay. So, it's a good search of different stuff. I'm not sure where I would have gotten the, the like one the information about the favorite band. Like, where would that even be stored? I don't know. Either way, I'm gonna end it off here. We're gonna continue looking for uh, Coyote and possibly find Paco. Next episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.